Welcome back to Socks and Sandals, and today I'm going to be playing Alan Wake, the remastered. I have a question uh -huh. that needs to be asked to the Socks and Sandals people. Okay. Am I the sock or am I the sandal? Well, neither is ever either of those things. Okay, so it's not like that. It's just... No. Socks and Sandals... Tell me again why you chose that name, because I know there's... You told me before, but I... you know oh, me, I can't I, start off on Nightmare... You probably have to complete normal yeah. before you can go to Nightmare. Damn. They don't know that you've done this before. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Socks and Steve Sandals. Uh, nightmares exist. Seth and I were trying to think of there's little fun a name for the new channel. And They're antithetical to the poetry. I don't know. I don't know if Rosie was wearing Socks and Sandals or somebody said Socks and Sandals. Okay. Like that's it. Right and then you just that was it. Yeah. And then I just the two anime cat girls. I was like, that'll fit because you name those are like cat names, Socks and Sandals. Oh, okay, so their name... Yeah, or Socks, socks and, and sand. sand. Okay, so which one's which? Uh, the white-haired one is Socks, and the brown-haired one is Sandals. Gotcha. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, I gotta look up. We're doing the tutorial right now. No, I don't want to reverse controls. Yeah, you're not insane. Yeah, yeah people who you. use inverted controls like they're flying a damn helicopter Yeah, or hey, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, they look all right. He's coming off of... God of War. So anything yeah. he looks at is going to be garbage. All I remember about this is that light is important. Yeah. You can't do anything unless you have the I wonder light. if they're still going to have... Because Energizer was a huge like sponsor of this. There were Energizer batteries everywhere. Oh. So I wonder if it's going to be Energizer batteries in this or uh, if they're going to do a different... Ooh, that that the voice the distortion, tone yeah. Tone pitch. I didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, that's all I remember about this game. This and that you go after pages. Yeah. And the light. That's the two things I remember. And then it was very Twin Peaks yeah. inspired. And I like how light is important when you're talking about that. And the first place you gotta get to is a lighthouse. Oh no. Yeah. Wait, did you go in there and just close the door and the sky's no, the, outside? The darkness closed the door. Oh, okay. What? That is. What is all that? What's that whole box is full of just ammo? <laughs> it's a lot of damn ammo. Shit. Get the flashlight. Jesus, another game where you gotta shoot somebody 12 fucking times <laughs> to kill them. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Wait, and is his name Alan off. Wake or is it just Alan? His name's Alan Wake. Oh, okay. Cheer up, handsome. Because then for a second I was like, she just said Alan, wake up. And I'm like, is that why it's named Alan Wake? Because somebody's <laughs> trying to tell Alan to wake up? No. I mean, it probably all fits together, but his name is Alan Wake. Okay, I, I thought so. I just make sure. I mean, subtitles should just be automatically enabled. I don't think so because yeah. subtitles are on that game and I wish I could turn them off and I really? can't. Because what I catch myself doing is fucking reading the subtitles and not looking at the people and seeing the emotion in their face and, and the interaction between the characters. I'm fucking reading. You know? And I'm like, I, I wish I could turn them off. But I understand why because it's like a Fallout type of real scenario where you have to choose options. Well, it's not a wheel, but it's dialogue options. So I understand why they're on, but I do wish I could turn them off. Because I'm outside in the Abbey working out or lounging by the pool, and I hear somebody talking in the Abbey, and it just comes across my screen. I'm like, I'm trying to relax by the pool, and fucking caretakers in there talking some shit, and I hear it and see it. There's also a black cat named Ebony that you get to go pet in the library once a day, or in the cathedral, whatever. What does she do? She just meows and purrs and gives you a few little hearts. I don't know who, I think that might be somebody in the cat form. I think it yeah. might be Agatha, but I'm not sure which. I really don't understand because yeah, Agus, like Agatha's there as a ghost. You're talking to her, you're interacting with her. So yeah. I don't understand why she would also be there in cat form. But I'm betting that that is somebody important. 
I don't think they did anything with these cutscenes. As far as uh, graphics wise? Yeah, I think these are just the same cutscenes for the Xbox 360. Well, I can't imagine that they, you know, go the whole thing and they just. So you're saying they only changed the gameplay part of it, maybe? Yeah. Or maybe they updated it. He definitely. Alan Wake in the cutscenes definitely looks I've forgotten there better. Still places like so I, maybe they did, you know, increase the resolution. Or Welcome to the Odeer Diner. I, I was if you could it's definitely the original cutscenes had some sort of like, like I don't know, like a texture or something where everybody looked creepy. Like I don't know. Hmm. I'd have to look. Like, I'll put it in the video. You'd I'll have to like the, compare the two. Yeah. yeah. Well, hello there. I thought she had blonde hair. Who's this? <laughs> My wife. Well, I thought she had blonde hair. That ain't blonde hair, is? It? Or am I imagining Maybe it just things? be the light. Got it. She put some clothes on. <laughs> I just talked over why they were having an argument. What? What? What's she. The fuck? Uh, so he came here to just get away because he's a writer. You know. Yes. Um, he's been having writer's blog, okay. so he just wanted to get away, and she brought his typewriter. Uh, oh. And he's like, I wasn't really looking to do work while I was gotcha. here. Gotcha, okay. And then she was like, well, there's also uh, Alice, I'm coming. A, right, I'm coming. a man, there's a resort, that he, uh, a man that can help you. And he's like, oh, now you want to, you want to get me committed. <laughs> Jeez. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face. On the oh, I guess that's the guy she was yeah. talking about could help him? Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to... I mean, I can't get all of the collectibles in this anyways because there are some that are only in Nightmare. Movie. So... You'd have to play it a second time to yeah. do that, huh? But should you hear about that? Ash is retiring. What? Yeah. Are they going to bring in... I bet they're going to bring in a girl now, aren't they? Yeah. Of course. Well, that's okay. I mean... Yeah, that's been a big thing on, like, Twitter. Is Like, Ash is retiring from... Well, he should. Isn't he, like, 30? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep, because that flashlight used to say Energizer on it. So they've oh, removed all of the Energizer uh, brand. I bet it... Well, I mean, it's it is remastered. Yeah. So think of the branding that you would, you'd have to do another deal. Yeah. And if the makers of this game aren't willing to pay out again, wait. Yeah, it would. No, it would be the other way around. If Energizer's not willing to pay out to be advertised, then they can't use the, yeah. the name. What is what is that? What is that goop? What is it that? It takes you to a uh, uh, kind of like a cache. Oh. Cool. There's not a lot of enemies in this game, are there? You mean like different variations, or no? I mean like, like in this one area, isn't that like the second dude you've seen? Well, I just fought two other dudes. Oh, okay. So that'd be the third one. They, they throw more enemies at you later. Um, oh, okay. Once get, you've got your bearings, kind of. Yeah. You don't mind that we're calling you a woman? I was like, Mama, <laughs> I do not mind at all. It is yeah. okay. Um, I don't think that would be my drag name. What is What are the rules of a drag name? Like the street you grew up on or something like that? Is that and it? I think your first pet's name... Your first pet's name in the street you grew up on. I would not. Uh, I see. would not say Drag that out loud. Name rules. Because that's Why? typically people's security answers. <gasps> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, so definitely don't do that. Okay, I won't. <laughs> Does that actually say put a lime in it? Yeah. So when we went in and met the two Sanderson brothers, uh huh. When you uh, start the jukebox, it plays that song whatever that is. Uh, and there's another time where you go back to the diner and you can play it again and you get that achievement for playing the song twice. I almost want to say it's rum and Coca-Cola, but it's not. It's the lime and the coconut and drink it all up. Yeah. 
This is the song I thought it was. Well, hold on, let me see if I can get it to the rum and Coca Cola part. Oh, I know that song. Yeah. Are these the guys that killed you earlier? No, these are different dudes. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get two of them though. Sure. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Look at you. Is that, is that an achievement? Yeah. I bet in things like this, like what's playing here, they, I bet actors love it because they're like, go in and just be as campy yeah. and hand up as you want. Just just be as bad of an actor as you can be. <laughs> Are you actually trying to watch that? Yeah. And I'm over here talking. I'm sorry. Well, the thing is, is that, so he's got some sort of quantum device that he had plugged in. And he was saying, with this running, no matter how many times I pull the trigger, I'm not going to die here. But in another universe, I will. And then someone tripped over the cord and unplugged it, and then he just shot himself. So not really like a um, Twilight Zone episode where it's something like weird that was just like, this just happened. But people don't like Jeff Keighley? So. <clears throat> Two ninety nine. Damn, gas over here is high. Aren't you in Canada? No, it's like somewhere in the northwest. Um, like Oregon or something. Do I bet oil rich states are probably more expensive? The garage Wait, a mess. cheaper. Reverse that. Yeah, yeah cheaper. Yeah. Because uh, it doesn't take as long to yeah, get oil. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. You know what I meant. Yeah. yeah. Wait, why does he have guns akimbo there? What the fuck? What is that? Which is some at? guns right there. Oh. Oh, I think it's an award. For, there's a QR code on the wall. Ooh, can we scan it? Let's see. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, let's see. See if you can, there's a link there. Can you click that? All right. Here we go. It's a YouTube video. Is it a Rickroll? The dark place was an endless waking dream. I saw visions carried by the ebb and flow of different dream states. They seeped in from the reality beyond Things I had a connection That's to, from but control. Also things I couldn't possibly know. I use them in Probably my an ad for Alan Lake too. Real. I think the local wino. Well, now that motherfucker got his head through the bars. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> So I turn any better, Mr. Wake. I'd like to leave this guy. Am I free to go? Hey, it's you. <sighs> Mr. Rogers? I mean, what is that sweater? <laughs> Bitch, I want to kill her. I hate her. She can suck a dick. You know, I... <laughs> is this dude just still talking to you? Yeah. You're wandering around, searching That's for Barry. coffee things? I love Barry. He, he, so, even by his look, he looks like freaking Bill Murray. Yeah. From, like, um... Like Groundhog's Day or something. Yeah. Uh, but, he, you know, he's the comedy. He's the comedy relief. Oh, there they go. Yeah. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going to love her. So now, wait. So did he know him previously? or is Yeah, this he is his met? lawyer. His lawyer. Okay, I was about to say his agent. But lawyer. Okay. Me what to do to help, and I don't know. Do writers have agents? And if I'm not back by morning, uh, publicist, publicist, okay. Oh, no, great. He just it's this, it's this weather, it's yeah. not this weather, but the wilderness, I guess. <laughs> he just doesn't like wilderness. Is he gonna do that to the whole game? Sneeze, sneeze, and cough. And... Uh, he complains about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, I just realized that last time when I was playing I Sniper, the cops. I didn't talk much. I just, I played a lot. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, we got to get some banter going, some talking, some something. <laughs> so. Oh, the last video we did? Yeah, the last video we did where I was doing Sniper, I, I don't remember us talking a lot. You were falling asleep. <laughs> um, and it I was guess, late. I, yeah, it was. No, it was. Um, cause we had watched Jackass that day too, yeah. right? And you had already played, you finished, um, fucking Resident Evil, yes. right? And that took you a while, that last boss fight yeah. was some bullshit. But. 
So I figured I would try to do more today, you know, like, talk a little bit more. See that dude walk by the window? I did see that dude walk by the window. I wonder oh, if they're going to change. It happened just the way it was they, on that page. Spoiler, I found they kill that dog. So I wonder you if they're going to change that if they're so not going to kill the dog. Or, It'll come back for me. <clears throat> you don't see it, but we got to go do something and you hear it like okay, Rusty. like Hang yelping. On. I'll be right Aww. back. I'll go ahead and take your gun, Rusty, if that's okay. So when you pick up the gun... Oh, now see, now if you'd have told me that and I was playing the game, I would be like, okay, can we put the doggy out of his misery now so he doesn't have to be tormented later? Um, and I would immediately try that. Um, had I known what I know now, yeah. I wouldn't have if I didn't know that. Good job. But... Um, he has got a uh, a rock band guitar <laughs> controller as a weapon. It looked like. What the fuck weapon is that? I know that's a scythe. I know that or a sickle. But what did he have? <laughs> like a wrench or something? What? Probably. One of those big old wrenches that you use to work on eighteen wheelers and shit. Yeah. He needs to have a talk with the uh, musical director on his stealth capabilities. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're going to just, you know, up the strings really creepily when I'm nearby, what's it going to be a stealth? I mean, they're going to know I'm there. His name is Alan. Uh huh. A L A N. Yep. Four letters. You talk about shortening his name. And somebody has to shorten his name to Al. <laughs> I mean, how much lazy are you going to be just call? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yes, please. So, why not just say put ammo there? Why not just put flare ammo in that box instead of another flare gun? Can you lose your gun? Yeah. Every time... So each chapter... Notice I didn't have anything. Each chapter, you lose all your guns. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. then that makes sense. Okay. Because I was about to say, that seems like a whole lot more work to do yeah. in a game was to just put a box of ammo instead of, you know, make creating a whole nother gun. Yeah, I like... So I liked this one and Control. And I've played mm -hmm. a little bit of the first Max Payne. Mm -hmm. I haven't beat it uh, but I didn't I didn't like quantum I think it's quantum break I didn't really care for that one which oh. is weird because that one's more time travel which I love but I couldn't get into it how are you liking your other game that you got which one the Rick and Morty thing that one's fun yeah yeah I, that's not the game I thought it was I've watched some stuff on it yeah uh, I, I didn't because what you described it as is like I don't think that's your guns like talking to yeah. you, right? Yeah. Okay. So I watched something on that then. So it looks interesting. Um, looks like the humor is right up your alley too. Yeah. So the tree this ring was cut from started growing in 1846, the year the Oregon Treaty I was right. It is in Oregon. Was signed. Other notable events marked marked on the rings. 1853, the Washington Territory was formed, the founding of Bright Falls Mining Company in the town itself. Washington was granted statehood. Tree damage and forest fire, the Bright Falls Mining Company closes its doors after a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake. Mount St. Helens erupts, and tree felled by storm. Man, to be a tree and you survive all that... And, a, and then a, a goddamn storm Fucking comes. wind blows you over. Yeah. I think what makes them scarier is their lack of faces. Yeah. Um, I think they would be less imposing if they had faces. Come on, 
I guess that would give them a more human element. That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares. Oh, yeah, he the gives us away. the uh, high beam. Oh no, he gives us flares. Later, you can get those like, and they were. Uh, uh, maybe it was Duracell. No, it was Energizer. They were like Energizer branded, big old flashlights. Those big yellow ones. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. You get those. Follow the kidnapper? This is a where you're following a kidnapper? Yeah, supposedly this is the dude that kidnapped Alice. This guy you're that's shooting. Yeah. Wow, you walked right into that. I thought for certain you were gonna dodge that or something. You literally walked right into the path of that. I was not paying attention. I hate that news. No time to explain. 30 minute drive. Yeah. Okay, the reason we're here. Bitch, you've had time to explain. Well, he's doing everything. Where did your guns go? What What happened? I guess I dropped them when I fell off of the gondola. Uh, all of them. All three of them. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, because I can understand you being out of ammo, but still have your guns. But dropping them all. Because, first of all, where do you keep them, okay? Where do you store your weapons, right? And, and then... What are the odds that they all fell out of or off of where you were storing them? Not like you're putting them all in the same pocket, and then oh, that shit. pocket ripped and you lost all your guns. And somebody gave me a wallet. I'm officially out of orders. What in the hell? You need to kill this dude back here! Like, he only seems to shoot people I'm looking at. Or <laughs> There's thermos over there. Ooh, good eye. Oh my, you motherfucker! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, god damn it! That doesn't seem like a smart idea. If somebody's got her kidnapped, and you don't know where she's at, and you're gonna punch the dude. Or kill him, for that matter. How are you going to find where she is? Damn. And I don't think this game has chapter select. So if I want that fucking fur thermos, I've got to replay. Yep, and you fell down here to where you are. So, this dude's leaving a trail of <laughs> weapons and ammo for you. Yeah. What's this? Uh, what the hell? A fucking bear trap. Okay. <laughs> I do not remember bear traps. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're like investigating it and it's like, it's trap. <laughs> That's how she learned that word. You know, she didn't, she's never heard it pronounced properly. Right there is somebody over to your left. Oh, well, look at you. You knew you had time to do it. I hoped I had time. <laughs> you it. did, so <laughs> you must have known. I think probably the driving in this game is probably the jankiest bit of it. I thought you said that was the end of that chapter. No. Talking to that guy. Oh, I thought it. I mean, I still couldn't get the thermos. I thought it was going to be the end of the chapter. But. Oh, okay. So the driving is janky, you say? Yeah. Do you remember friends you had from like elementary school and stuff? Uh, yeah. Travis Huckleby, Jared McManus, um, What's that Catherine say? Tucker. What's that say? The darkness controls the taken. Oh, okay. So you do know some of them. Remember yeah. some of them? That's good. I remember their names, uh, yeah. their faces a little bit. I had a crush on Catherine. Oh, okay. Uh, 
So you're not friends with any of these people anymore, are you? No. I'm not. Yeah. I'm barely friends with people from high school. <laughs> Fucking Christ! Alright. I like hot fries. You know, the old, the not hot Cheetos. That supposedly wrote that but hot not fries. the uh, Chester's hot fries. No, that's but what they are. Yeah. So so they are the Chester's hot fries, no. not the other hot fries, but the man. Andy can't. That one. No, I don't like Chester's hot fries, no. That's what I was saying. Yeah, because those are like hot Cheetos, right? Yes. He's even got Bill Murray's receding hairline. Game Ranks was talking about that. If you're going to make me follow... No, it was zero punctuation. If you're going to make me follow somebody in a fucking game... Make their walking speed, my running speed, or else. Don't make me follow them. You know, because that's just ridiculous. Well, I mean, I guess he has an excuse. He's got a limp. I guess, but that still doesn't make it any less tedious <laughs> that you have to follow this fucker. I'll just try to look from his point of view. He didn't, he didn't want to have to walk all the way from the fucking manager's trailer to here for some... Yoko out of town. Couldn't he have just told him where this was? Why is he having to walk him over here? It's probably like, you know, how it, like, live storage. You, we have the, you know, it was frowned upon if we were just like, oh, it's this way. They want you to fucking... Fucking Rent Now came along. They want you to show them the unit. And it's fucking A3. You can go check it out yourself. It's probably like red tape that he can't cut through. He's like, I don't want... To tell him where Rose's trailer is, and he goes over there and beats the woman or something. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Why is she talking like that? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. It was revealed in the uh, last cutscene that the old woman had mind controlled her. Gotcha. And now she's poisonous. Of course. Hemingway, you're under arrest. Don't you hear about fucking New York? Nope. Oh, the blizzard? Well, yeah, but no. Uh, fucking Buffalo, good God. No, the first uh, recreational weed dispensary opened up in New York. It's all legal there now. Why did y'all open fire? There was a civilian. I'm standing right here, you goddamn man. You should have started taking place in Texas. Man, I need glasses. Can you not read that? Barely. Really? The woman. I thought it. The reason I say I need glasses is because it says the woman showed her teeth and an, an approximation. approximation of a smile traced a finger down Rose's cock. Pretty girl, she said. I, I thought that's what it said. I think that's just a Freudian. Freudian I'm seeing what I want to see. Right. Yeah. I can honestly say that that is probably the only game I've ever seen that had a possessed gate. Yeah, there's gonna, about to be plenty of possessed objects. Wire spools, gears, cogs, trains. It took me a moment to recognize the flashback. Flashbacks. They were an ideal weapon for my Now, I like how fucking minute ago, cars hanging precariously off a cliff, your motherfucking ass jumps out on the hood of it and around. <laughs> And the car didn't fucking budge. You fucking touched the basket next to the car and it moved. Now, come on now. Come on now, guys. Not all at once. I will say, Alan Wake knows how to do flashlight. <laughs> you control where it goes. <laughs> I know that's part of the core mechanic of it, but still, I, that was something I was complaining about in Resident Evil. It was in your video, too. That was hilarious, though. Huh. That little music thing you did right before he came through that door. Boom. I don't think he comes through here. Why? Is this a safe room or something? 
Not really. I think there are just some doors he won't go through. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am looking for pages and thermoses. <laughs> Nightingale, we got him. What the, fuck? what the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. It's the second time you almost shot a civilian. You're a loose cannon, Nightingale. Well, why are they? I don't understand. Why are they chasing him again? It'll explain why he is specifically chasing him. But the cops okay. were called by Randolph. Because we were in Rose's trailer for so many cliffs like, until ridiculous. dark, That's what you get and we never came out. Stop. We were two it's yokels that I hadn't had the chance to tell came into town. He didn't know us, have to lose the cops so he thought we had done something to Rose. Probably why oh. he also followed us to the trailer or took us there. Oh, okay, gotcha. But it'll be revealed later on why Nightingale is specifically. Coming after Wake. Nightingale Star. Okay. Wake, what are we doing here? Just dying, apparently. <laughs> it wouldn't let me move. Ah. Shotgun ammo and a revolver. A flashbang and a yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. A flare and a white album. Oh, you're naming different Beatles albums. Wasn't there a revolver? Yeah. yeah, I'll be alright. I'd be so tempted to stick my hand in there. In between the slats? Yeah, for a second. I mean, again, the intrusive thoughts and all that. I wouldn't jump off the building. I wouldn't fall off the ledge. I wouldn't stick my hand through there. But I'd be tempted to. For all of a second, and, and they'd be like, "No, that's gonna hurt. Don't do that." Oh, damn, I only have one player. So you don't ever have any intrusive thoughts like that? Uh, no. No. Not that I can say. Again, you're not gonna let them win. The intrusive thought. You're not gonna let them in. Is that? Hey, yeah. All right, Uncle. <laughs> don't forget to grab that intel there. Oh, wait, that's my game. Never mind. Uh, Bright Falls Record. It is a newspaper. Bullshit that you can read that. I can read the top. It says Bright what? Falls Record. Right there at the Where? top. Where? At the very top of the page. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Mrs. TV. Yeah, I remember the bits having to fight the poltergeist vehicles being extremely hard. It was a combine later that's just... I think it's actually an optional fight, too. I don't think you really have to do it. Damn, there's just nowhere to even dodge that. Is the whole fucking front is a weapon. Is there anywhere in this little arena that you can get to where he can't hit you with that? Or is it pretty much he can get you in? Not sure. Like you're behind this little wooden fence here. Would oh, no. he be able to Oh yeah, he just <laughs> it's like, Yeah, those two picks you mean? <laughs> Make it from the coal mine museum. Oh, uh, to Cauldron Lake in 30 minutes. Okay. That's a little more time. Mirror Peak. God, why is the gun not reloaded? Wow, I didn't kill anybody with that. Yeah, no, I, I saw that because as soon as you dropped that flare, they all started backing up. It's like, oh man, you're out of range of that. There's 
metal. No, it was a fucking fucking box. That one just hit it. Well, there were two in there. There was a cog and that oh, is that box. Which, oh, okay. Yeah, the first one. The first one was the... Okay, I thought it was a creature, though. I didn't know it was a cog. I mean, a creature. What the fuck? He wouldn't go up the damn stairs. Oh, goodness. So, how did the game end? Uh, new Tales from the Borderlands? Mm -hmm. uh, um, so, she gets shot in the head. The oh. Indian chick. Okay. They bring her back to life with the crystal. Mm -hmm. uh, turns out she's possessed by an alien that lived in that crystal. Okay. Um, the angel benefactor turned out to be the chick from Tidior. And it was all a plan to get the crystal. Um, at the end of the game, it turns out she's got this red crystal that... Oh, God damn. Uh, when combined, it like Brings. Forms Exodia? Pretty much. We fight her because she puts the two crystals inside of her and she becomes like this all powerful being. So we use what's her face's uh, gun to send her to another dimension and that's pretty much it. Hmm. Not falling asleep over there, are you? I'm trying. Trying to fall asleep? That's one of the things I only rem Only one of the... One of the only things I remember about the game <laughs> is him running alongside a fence line like that on some cliffside. That's what I equate with the memory of this game is this part right here. Oh, fuck off. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Where am I going? Going past the train? Fucking they're throwing trains at you now. You thought? Fuck off. <laughs> That guy died swinging to hit you. What? Oh, did I only have one fucking... Flashbang? Who in the hell? Fucking... God damn it. Well, see, now it says reach the mirror leak pook. Mirror, Mi mirror leak pook out. Wow. Yep. <laughs> hey. Lake. I did it. You did it. Very good. There was a light near it. it had well, now, it didn't say that a second ago. You saw it, too. Yeah, it, it changed said, uh, it previously said, to. Uh, cross the mountain path or something like that. I know I, I missed one of those. Now. I had to get there fast. Uh, Caches. Because I, I didn't follow the arrow. Big Daddy. I mean, it did kind of look like one there for a second. It's Thomas Zane. He's the writer before Alan. It, it's confirmed that they take place in the same universe. <laughs> <laughs> Which apparently they're making a Bioshock movie. I mean, they've been saying that for a while, but I think it's going to be a Netflix thing. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of, like... Everything just being made by Netflix. See, I think the only live-action anime that I've seen—I haven't watched all of the live-action anime. 
Netflix has done. I've seen, um, not another. What the fuck is it called? Damn, I can't remember what it's called now. It's about a, a, a kid who dies and, like, goes back in time. Or like an adult, I think. So, when he's a kid, there's a string of murders. And one of the girls in his class is one of the children that gets murdered. And I think he, in, as an adult, he gets hit by a truck and ends up going back in time. But like with all the same symptoms undifferentiated And so he decides that he's going to try and solve the murders. Uh, which he does, and it, spoiler alert, it turns out, I think it's like his gym teacher who's doing it. I can't remember the name of the anime. But it's got time travel and all that shit in it. That's the only thing I've seen of them doing live action that was actually really good. That was a series, though. It wasn't a movie. Well, so was Cabo Bebop. I think it was a series, too, wasn't it? I felt I like this know. was happening to some If someone isn't impaled on that giant sundial at some part in this story Are you as be like upset? a final death, I'm just gonna be upset. Like um, like knocked off that balcony in a final uh, and then splat right on that. Tell tell me that happens. I don't think it does. Uh -huh. well, I see a thermos up there though. Wait. I never thought I would have liked Charlie as much as I do. Really? I would. Yeah. I mean, if you'd have asked me ten years ago, you know, if you would like, if I'd some liked him, uh, I, I, a I'd greasy, like, long-haired, no, I ain't no way. bearded man in a white T-shirt. But man, he is—he's uh, pretty cool. I thought that said patent gotcha. rooms. Like, did they just misspelled patient? It's to make you think you're even more crazy. <laughs> They misspell shit intentionally. Department Can you imagine the power going through an entire asylum <laughs> and shit just being misspelled? <laughs> and the doctor's like, that's not misspelled. And the patients are like, yes, it is. It doesn't say enter and exit. Did he really think that he was going to be able to get away with that? <laughs> He's a little bit bigger than the standing. Okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The dark man's got heart. That's what you just missed. Sorry. I had to find a way out. What's going on? No more Powerpuff Girls, huh? More Powerpuff Girls? Yeah, Butch Hartman. Oh, that's not. I but... know, it's Bill. <laughs> well, no. Bill? No, no, Butch Hartman did Fairly Odd Parents. I thought he did Powerpuff Girls. So, no, that's not. That's, you know, that's... Tara Strong. And, uh... No, I thought he. No, she's I not. Like to Laura Faust. No, not the voices. No, Laura Faust was the animator. I'm talking about the creators of, not the. Actors or animators. Isn't it Gendy Tartofsky? I have no idea. Oh, right, I gotta get upstairs and turn the lights off. I thought Hartman was. Okay. Mm. Ah! You sure? Uh huh. Uh, oh, Hartman. Mm, Craig McCracken. You were both wrong. Well, I mean, you were fairly odd parents, probably right. You know he tried to do a Christian mm -hmm. animation thing? Oh, Axis or something like that. Oh my fucking... What was that saying? Uh, some error or some message you can get on your phone. Oh, yeah, so it kept saying, um... Ow, what the hell? Yeah, that. It kept saying your device oh. is restarting. I'm here. What the fuck? Rebooting. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's not. It's, it's, it's on. So, I was going to... Oh, my God. That was supposed to hit that, wasn't it? It thought it... What happened is when that thing hit me, it, like, pushed me out where it triggered the next bit. So now it thinks I'm out there. And you're in here. And you're trapped Fucking in Fucking God. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of, like... 
You see all this, like, like glinting stuff? Yeah. Usually collectibles are the only thing that glint. What? Oh, it's his flashlight. He's fucking... He's like, what are you doing? Let's go! <laughs> Come on! He's just waving the fucking thing around. Yeah, that, you know, in games, I appreciate that. I don't like that they're always glinting. Like, from... Like, if you're in the open world, yeah. and it's way the fuck over there buried below a bush, and it's glowing. No, yeah. I don't like that. I like it where... You get close and you're within an area of it, like a radius of it, and then it'll glint to say, oh, I'm here. Because, I mean, you can't see it because it looks like everything yeah. else, but I do like the little glint then. I don't like, I guess, constant glint or constant highlight. Think about the fact that it's New Year's Eve with the post office and everything. Mmm. I was going to go yesterday. And I was like, I'll fucking be lazy and go today. But damn. Suck a dick, dumb shit. That's what I said. <laughs> Pretty much. When I found out that it was closed, I was like, God damn. <laughs> Being done in by a fucking wheelbarrow. Oh, that wheelbarrow killed one of those guys. <clears throat> I wonder if the big dudes... Or ever going out on their rounds for the night. You're like, I want to wield a knife. I don't want to <laughs> swing a sledgehammer. Why won't they give me a knife? Do I have to kill all these guys? I They're mean... Very to find the... Uh... Oh, you found it. Okay. I understand the other way around. Because, you know, maybe those guys aren't physically, you know, capable of swinging a giant ass sledgehammer like these big guys are. I get that, but the other way around, you know, they could definitely wield knives. Fucking, I can't That is some dodge bullshit. Too, uh, too soon. You were, it was open and you were almost there and that fucking little sliver, no, just fuck off. Okay. Did that motherfucker say, hey, I found a coroner? That's why I said you can phone the coroner when I'm dead. Fuck right off, Barry. <laughs> oh my fucking god, whatever. <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? Well, they have, because... Get a rope. Oh. A rope? You never saw that old Pace, Pace Picante waiting. sauce commercial? No. It's a bunch Barry, of cowboys uh, me, okay? sitting around a campfire. Hey, Cookie, more pecani sauce. <laughs> this ain't paste pecani sauce. What's the difference? Cookie, paste pecani sauce is made in San Antonio with fresh vegetables and spices by people who know what pecani sauce is supposed to taste like. This stuff's made in New York City? New, New York, York City? Get a rope. Pick up the original picante sauce. Pick up the pace. They're eating and one of them says, you know, pass the hot sauce and the salsa or whatever. And he hands him a... He joined ROTC when I was... He was okay, I'm missing all the fucking dodges. It was senior year he joined ROTC. So he joined it a little bit much. What? You piece of shit. <laughs> That should not be allowed. <laughs> I mean, I understand that they really couldn't say, oh, how's the light going to protect you from a, a from thrown a hammer. axe or hammer? <laughs> yeah. Pretty sneaky. Ow. See, your music gave you away. I mean, I still didn't <laughs> you still dodge didn't, it. You still weren't but... able to dodge it, but yeah. Fucking... I don't know that I'd be able to do it as far as they are, but I'd, I'd be able to throw it, I know. Uh, oh, fucking me. God, God damn, damn no. Uh-uh, that was... And that was a street light, wasn't it? Yep. Well, now you know that that dude pops out of there. By, from behind that boulder. That's not a nice boulder. That's a mean boulder. <laughs> Man, I, I wish... I, like I really boulder. wish you had, like, that a That is a nice boulder. Editor. Why? Well, because, like, like during all this, you're walking by that boulder there on your right, 
you could you could have what's his tit from Shrek coming he's like that's a nice boulder you know like pointing at that one and then oh. you get to that one and like that was not a nice boulder the one he jumps out from behind of course that would be in very involved yeah um, and I'm telling you all these things all the time like oh do this put that in there that. like like you can do all that like shit that. like you're a professional editor I mean I know you've gotten good at it fuck off and was sitting on the floor in Angel's room to watch something while she was eating. Whoa. And I looked away for a second. You literally looked away for a second. <laughs> and uh, I... I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Ow! Run! They're coming! There's too many! Damn. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone.
Dry Falls, rock and roll capital of America. What did I miss? Mm, not much. Oh, okay. God damn it. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. I was about to ask you the fuck that was standing the back there, but never mind. <laughs> it's, it's the standing uh, cutout. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> I watch too much YouTube. Mm. I had a dr or I don't know if it was a dream, but the other night I woke up out of a dead sleep and I could swear I heard someone in my house whistle, like a just a quick whistle. Yeah. Like it just woke me up out of my sleep. Now I don't know if I would just dreamed it. I laid there for a bit and listened to see if I, you know, heard moving around or whatever. Yeah. So I just came to the conclusion that I dreamed it. Or I whistled in my sleep and woke myself up. That's a possibility because I've snored and woke myself up. Oh, I, I do. The, anytime I snore, I wake myself up because yeah. I don't normally snore. Oh, no. I, so mean, I snore all the time. If my nose is clogged up or whatever and I try to breathe through it while I'm sleeping, I'll wake myself up. Well, it also could have been somebody whistling outside because your walls are kind of thin. So it could I mean, be it was that. the middle of the night. It was like early morning, so I don't know who's outside whistling. That's, that's actually even more terrifying. I mean, yeah, it'd be terrifying if they were in the house, but if they're just outside the house, that's just as terrifying. Let me let me say that. Not more terrifying, but just as terrifying. Because what are they doing outside, you know? Yes. So close to your house. Right. James Joyce, it's your fault, and you're going to pay for it. Did you just finish the game? No. That was that chapter. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot that it does that. Oh, okay. I always love the, the way he. Oh, Al, this is not good. Just the way he says it, because <laughs> he's he's got the fuck he's got a fucking hangover and he's like I'm fucking in jail. Never drinking again. Yeah, you say that. Man, Everybody <laughs> says that during a hangover. They're grabbing the toilet bowl, hurling their guts out. I'm never drinking again. <laughs> hey, it's Friday. Want to go to the bar? <laughs> yes, let's go. <laughs> It's nice to have somebody else find out the game. Yep, that is good. I wish you could uh, stop those hammers from whacking me in the head, though, Sheriff. God damn it. No matter how much damage she's doing, which is significant, they're not throwing the hammers at her. <laughs> There's this uh, restaurant by County down here called Frankie's. They're kind of like a mix between, um, I guess, like, southern soul food and Mexican. Mm -hmm. Like, you can get... I haven't had it because I don't like enchiladas. But you can get these enchiladas that have steak and mashed potatoes in them. And mm, that actually the, sounds good. The other guys at work say it's really good. But when I went up there, I got the Pollo de Gordo. Which is, uh, it's just Gordon Bleu, but okay. uh, as opposed to like, they put like chipotle sauce on it and it's got other like Mexican ingredients. That shit was really good. Uh, so, if you're ever in that area over there on Plain Over, I recommend going to Frankie's. A little pile of garbage. <laughs> I mean, I guess to anyone else, be like, why the fuck? There's revolver ammo here, but... Well, I mean, I know that's not garbage, but, you know... A fucking thing of batteries and a flashlight? Or, no, it was a flare. Like, who the hell left this shit here? Oh. You've got to unlock a gate, huh? Ooh. It's an ambush. Mm, this dude's over here fucking tipping cars over. It's like the fucking... Oh, you... Uh, actually stop. Ooh, what the hell is the Philadelphia team? The Philadelphia, it's like the Eagles won the Super Bowl or something over here. People tipping cars over there. You know, Sheriff, I really wish you also had a flashlight. I do appreciate that you shoot, but... She does have a little bit of a flashlight on the end of her gun. Doesn't she? It 
looks like it. She's producing a little she bit of light. The darkness off of I passed by a video the other day on YouTube. I mean, I didn't even have to watch it. It's like, can you beat Fallout 4 as Leatherface? I was like, yes. Yeah. You're giving me a chainsaw. Yes, <laughs> I can beat Fallout 4 with a fucking chainsaw. Because we ricocheted our library Damn. searches. Why isn't he inside? Oh, God. Oh, God. Barry, get your cardio on. Barry, look out! Barry, move! Ah! I mean, was that warning really necessary? He was already running <laughs> from shit. Exactly. It wasn't like he didn't know there was something trying to get him. <laughs> no, motherfucker, it's dark season. Oh, is that, is that what one of them said? He said it's rabbit season. Oh. I'm surprised they didn't do that. Oh, I've got the hunting rifle out. I'm like, why am I one-shotting these motherfuckers? Fucking hell. You age. said you need to save that for the helicopter. <laughs> oh, is I thought a... it was floating. I it's was about to say, I thought it was too, <laughs> but it's not. Okay. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's one of the. Well, I'm thinking of stevia. You're thinking of stevia, yeah. yeah. Sativa, a... indica blends, yeah. Those are, those are, things of. Oh, fuck off with that. Uh. -uh. It's me playing with the bottle. Oh my god, that, there was a YouTube video, and it's a dude, man, finishing a bottle, and he drinks it and closes it, and then he's just like. I've seen that, yeah. I yeah, it's about like, that. I, that's, that's <laughs> what I do with that shit. That's what I was talking about. Oh, that's what I, I ball. hadn't seen that one yeah. yet until that. So, this fucking. Scared me. Fucking axe throwers. What am I waiting on? Y'all got the helicopter ready, or...? It says get to the helicopter. <laughs> how long you been, uh... I how long have you been... How long has it said get to the I, helicopter? I don't know. I just looked up there and saw it just now. On the video playback, you need to look and see how long you've been playing. And then but a big blinking time. I've been sitting here for two minutes! I could've gone! <laughs> I have been playing. I'm still playing Forza Horizon 2. Mm -hmm. I've got. I think as of today, I have 40 of the 168 championships. I've got 40 left to do. Damn. And uh, I've also been playing Forza Motorsport 3. Can I shoot that? See, I don't know. It might be optional to turn them off. Is there anything behind them? That's my question. There is an achievement, though, to turn off the power. Looks like oh, that's turned a on. <laughs> Fuck I you. mean, that was a checkpoint. Not, not at all what we thought we were doing here, Cody. I was looking around the corner too, but you actually moved your head to I'm look. telling you, Golden Eye, Perfect Dark, they ruined me. <laughs> like, I can, I should be able to just, I can do that. I can look around that corner. Damn it, let me. And Mitch used to make fun of me for doing that too. So, 
It's something I've been doing for years. Ever since I stepped into the 3D world of gaming, you know. I don't know. I've never. You, you I didn't guess experience because, anything before that, did you? I mean, or did not you? until after. Until after the yeah. fact, yeah. So maybe it does have something to do with the fact that I didn't start in 3D. And then all of a sudden to be dropped into 3D and you're like, oh, in theory I should be able to look around <laughs> that corner. You know, they can inhabit like, you know, somewhat inanimate objects mm -hmm. and like hurl them and shit. But wouldn't it be creepy if you were you walked up to this little building and it just fucking got out of its foundation and started moving towards yeah. you? Yeah. That'd be pretty scary. <laughs> Like, I've never seen that before. I've refer I also have HBO Max, and I refuse to watch Velma. So I've just been watching other people talk about it. And A lot of people are talking about it. The jokes that they've shown are just not funny. Like, the so in the trailer, there's a joke uh, where Shaggy is talking about, well, his... They use his actual name, Norville. Where Norville is talking about that he likes 420 humor. And he asks, look, he asks Velma, God damn it! Fucking hammers. Ask Velma, hey, do you know what 420 is? And she's like, yeah, it's code for adults who watch cartoons. And I'm like, who is that joke? Like, are you, like, shitting on people who are currently watching, watching your, your show. show i've heard a lot of people say that it's like are you just wanting to alienate your there's one person going as far as to say they want to alienate their audience that way when people say oh the show sucks then they can say oh they just don't like it to be culturally diverse or they're racist or they're misogynist or they don't like women or something like that yeah. even though the show does genuinely just suck yeah Saber Spark was talking about that. You go ahead and walk through there. He tried. Maybe the other one will be that dumb. Nope, he's smarter. He is smarter. Smarter than this forty five. I mean, if the darkness was really smart, they would have just been like, just leave them closed. Yeah. I mean, or open and you <laughs> can't get back. You're stuck out there on that. <laughs> I mean, if you really needed to, you could swim. I mean, I know it's, I'm sure, cold water, but. Yeah. Friends, tell them where we're going. Absolutely 100% no fucking way does he have reception in here. The dam, so. one of the pipes. He's in he a goddamn it. pipe! <laughs> it's Sarah now? Well, it sounds like that helicopter just crashed. Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. What is she cradling with her? It's a lamp. Oh, okay. A lamp. Um, of course, a lot of it, I think, comes pre-packaged, if I'm not mistaken. But I mean, I, I wasn't a prep cook or anything, so I really don't know. All I know is that I'd go back there and fucking get a thing for the bowl of salad. and We weren't supposed to fill it over a certain amount. And then we were supposed to, dependent on how many people were on the table, you know, give four oh, to six. motherfucker. Give four to six breadsticks. So... You just fell off the damn tree, Cody. What the hell's yeah, wrong? Yeah, I'm used to games like having, not letting you fall. Yeah, I, I could see that. Having sections, especially on like trees and shit like this. Is that where you're supposed to be going? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and it's all mossy, so it's all like slick and stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, 
appreciate y'all waiting this time. Is that is that the first time the birds ever killed you? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I mean, technically the birds didn't kill me, man. I well, they, the they did. Wall. They put... I mean, <laughs> gravity killed you, but they helped it. <laughs> They're the ones that pushed y'all. No, I'm sure there have been times where my health was really low. And then... Uh, Wait. Am I going the right way? Because I need to get to the yeah, helicopter. Yeah, I, I, that's why I asked that. Cause I was, you said oh get to the my god. This was just another way to get down. And I fucking climbed back up it. Oh, sorry. I thought it was an automatic thing. Whoops. He gave you a little Punch shove. me in the fucking head. Uh. God! That one it almost looked like you dodged into <laughs> it. I was like, oh, I'll get hit by that one. Doing? Out. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> It'll be. Okay. I have to slap this woman. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> oh, there she goes again. Here, do you need me to move? Am I like bugging your AI out or something about being too close? Move my fucking leg in before I started closing a big ass <laughs> Vault 44 door. <laughs> so, is he dreaming all this? Because this he is a, home, uh, I guess, a flashback. Oh, okay. He's remembering a time where he woke up with a hangover and watched a late, late show or whatever the fuck this it It's fucking early morning. Yeah, that's. <laughs> you're right! <laughs> It is early morning. What the fuck? Um, Unless he slept all day and he's a night owl and he woke up at sunset instead of sunrise. Let's see. I mean, there's the sun on the horizon. I mean, it could be either or. Yeah? Hmm. Our clock anywhere? Tell you what time it is? You got a watch? A phone? You pull out? None of that? Oh, okay. Wasn't that advanced? Do I need to continue watching that or? Hey, honey, did you watch the show? What is that? Anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you gonna start it's with me about drinking now? You know, I should have followed Where were advice. Oh, she was in the but kitchen. I was angry. She was Most not in the myself. kitchen. She must have been behind the that little what? section of wall. To talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid Okay, so it is like sunset. No because if he got in at 7 a.m. And slept, no yeah. Oh, that honey. makes more sense. But still, the late, late show, <laughs> that would be on at night, yeah. not yeah. at sunset. I'm sorry, honey. Sunset last night was 5.45. No. Well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah. But I need to do this. Whoa, don't fucking pull a gun on her. Damn, you could have just said. You could have just said, <laughs> I'm going to go it alone. Jeez. <laughs> that is a bit violent. Good luck, Al. Comfortable what do we got at the clean. Majestic Hotel? Why'd they spell it that way? Where? What There's two L's on motel. Let me see. See? Motel. Laundry no. facilities, cable TV, and kitchenette in every room. That ain't bad, a kitchenette. I don't know why they spelled it that way. Maybe they're getting around some loophole. Like a motel and a hotel has to live up to like city standards or state standards of, of living, of, of like, you know, how it looks and everything and how it functions. But a motel <laughs> is something different, so they don't have to follow something their new. rules. Yeah. Yeah, I watched him talk about Forspoken. Mm -hmm. Apparently that's just a horrible game. 
Well, the story is horrible. The yeah, gameplay that's what I've heard is the The gameplay is at least something, maybe, but not really, but the story is apparently terrible. They they're talking about the the yeah, I keep protagonist? Hearing, yeah, I keep hearing people talk, talking about the protagonist. That yeah, just, just that being a remember. horrible person, too. Like, having no redeeming qualities. And I'm like, what is the deal with people doing that? Velma? Yeah. This? I, I was talking to Seth about that. So you're in a dark tunnel now. So. Oh, now you can be attacked. Oh, has he started up there yet? I could feel its presence yeah. again, getting closer. Uh, but, uh, oh, was like, why? It seems like whoever made the Velma series... Um, just really doesn't like Scooby Doo. Like I don't, I don't. Or animation, for that matter. She fucking was ragging on people that yeah. like animation too. Okay, and he just didn't even want to dodge that time. Later, losers. Did you do it? I mean, I got past those guys without firing. We're making it to Cauldron Lake without firing a single shot on the road to Cauldron Lake. And that's what you're doing right now? Yes. From its start right up to the showdown with the tornado, you must not fire a single what shot is... from any gun. The fuck? Um, is this control? What, what's happening? I saw this here. That is weird. <laughs> the doors of... We're in a... Uh... We're in the Twilight Zone right now. Dropping flares to keep chasing, taking back, and throwing flashbangs, which don't count as shots fired. Okay. Agent oh, God. Just everything. Oh. Damn fridge from control. Yeah. I'm going to lock that thing up again. You got to keep an eye on it, too. You can't look away. You look away, and it just... Fuck off. Which to me, that's a thing in video games, at least with certain engines. Um, oh, I was like, why the fuck? I thought it would kill me. Uh, and now it, it did. It did now. So anyway, of course we can kind of... Uh, what in the fucking hell? Oh, the bottom is still here! Wow. That fucking crazy. No, it's fucking glitched! Oh, I thought you were saying it's like still... Like half of it's still alive. It... It thinks the top half is still there and it's fucking hitting me. And I can't get... Well... Oh, I mean, that solves the problem. Fucking stupid ass bullshit. I like how it prevents you from moving forward when you could just, you know, go around. As a human, we'd be able to squeeze, you know what I mean? We'd be able to squeeze through, but... There you go. Fucker. damn monster truck out here. Great. The fuck? Right of way? Okay. Does it kill a certain number of those with a, with with a, a car? car? Yeah. Only thing that worries me though is just that the work week for 44 hours. Which, hey, if that's what the work we did, then that's what it is. What the hell is that? Damn bus. I thought it was damn buses and shit. Ooh, look at that. 
Isn't there a lot? Ooh, it's a checkpoint. All right. Yeah. Yay. That's good to know. That's really good to know. I mean, you know, if I ever want to go camping. Stop the fucking revolver ammo I'm not using. Why did I pick that up? Okay, bullshit. And, uh. I swear to Christ. You motherfuckers need to go away. Or you, you hit the home key button on your keypad. And I'm like, okay, so I did that and nothing happened. Where the hell is this? Fucking bullshit. Did you step into that lot before you went over to those arrows? I did. Because that's how that other dude busted into. Whatever. Oh. Fucking sparks. You're not going to lost powers right here. Getting stuck in that tunnel. Did you kill him? Mm hmm Good. Fucking Alan Wake's hotboxing in the truck. <laughs> oh He's... my god, I was going to bed last night and they had just fucking smoked in there. You see, now you've reached the checkpoint. See, I don't think you stepped into this light. I did. I think you had to get in the truck. Ah. And they had just smoked in there, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, there's something else on that table, too. It's the flare gun. I can't even use it. Oh, okay. Is this door open? Hey, there's... You motherfucker. You can't do it, can you? Wait, can you do it with a flashbang? Or you have to shoot it? No, I have it. Get off my fucking back, you piece of shit. Who does that? Macari. Have you shipped the item yet? <laughs> oh. Hey, what you doing, smart? Drop a flare, Alan. God damn it, get on the fucking thing. Yeah, that I don't like. Hmm. The whole effect that the clouds are doing. I don't I don't like that. That's oh. too too too, Show wi that. too wibbly for me. Uh oh. Officer Wibbly. <laughs> I had a dream. Uh speaking of Officer Wibbly, that just completely reminded me. That you were watching an episode of The Simpsons. Or we were watching it together. Uh-huh. And it was something about like Homer had gone to the future, and... Damn, now I can't even remember the majority of it. Though, I remember asking you who Homer was talking about, and you were like, that's so-and-so stupid. I remember you calling me stupid. I was like, fucking okay. Oh. I was like, Damn. You can't be mad at me for something in your dream, Cody. <laughs> like those girlfriends that went. Well, I ain't mad at you. Sla sla I was their mad boyfriends. at the you in my dream. I was oh, like, okay. motherfucker. They slapped their boyfriends like, you cheat on me. Well, I did not in my dream. Well, no, wait. That's not. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. That's, that's not right. Just don't. That's why I reveled in the fact that I got to tell her that uh, the actor who plays Sheldon was gay. Because she was talking about. Oh, I love watching Big Bang Theory. I love watching Frasier. I love those shows. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, a little bit of info. There's a thermos there. Yeah. Um, it wanted me to see something fall out of the fucking sky. Yeah, I was like, you do know that there's two gay actors in those shows. So, she's like, oh, I ain't gonna watch that no more. I ain't gonna support that. I was okay. Like, I, no, I liked, this is going to sound horrible, but I liked that I deprived her of something she enjoyed yeah. watching. Yeah. Because, I mean, I if you're going to be a fucking homophobic bitch, okay. then, you know. You guys need to you. fucking take a chill pill here. But they're that way with everything. Drop the damn boats out of the sky. I have literally heard Aunt Debbie say, if you ain't white, you ain't right. And really? that is just sad. Oh, yeah. She does not like any of the races. Any other races. 
What's happening? Oh shit! There's a, like a big something rolling down, exploding and shit. Drop a flare, Helen! Oh, you stupid motherfucker! God damn it! Does your family do that? Do y'all have family reunions? No, I don't know. No. I'm having a little trouble thinking here, Nathan. Oh, I'll stop. I'll stop to ask you questions. As you get stuck on the animation to climb into the train and they stab you in the back twice. I think that was some bullshit right there. Like with the ladder thing. I think an animation that is you traversing the environment, you should have a little bubble of protection or immunity for those few seconds that it takes you to do whatever action it is you're trying to do. Kiss my ass. That was that same dude. That was that same dude that, that hit you three times in a row before. Fucking bush. We've we've circled all the way back around to good old George. I really wish it would like I don't care. I don't care about the shit falling out of the sky. Get in there. Go down. Ooh, no, that worked. That was fun. I don't even know where I am now. Well, but just fucking coming out of the goddamn bushes! See, this shit, like, explodes and doesn't kill anyone. Cool, great, fuck you. Eat shit and die. Yeah, you're right. Those explosions should have killed someone. But no, instead it like slows shit down and then gives that fucking thing. And and it makes you look at it. Three fucking so, hits. So not only does it slow down time but it forces you to look at it, and it doesn't do any damage. So what's it for? To just fuck you over, I guess, is what it's the for. The fucking cinematicness of it all. At least it didn't make me look at that. <laughs> I thought that was about to squish it. Like, you get all this way, and you get squished by a fucking damn door. Why? I thought for a second you were about to shoot that dude. That is the most bullshit ass fucking shit. Because it's not like when he gets a hit on, you can't fucking dodge any of the other ones. You just gotta fucking take it. Fuck you. They're still alive. They're still alive. Kiss my ass! He came out of nowhere, didn't he? Oh my god! There you go, Cody. You got it. And then he really dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. You can't win. Oh. Oh, that was a jump. <laughs> okay. It did have the little, uh, little yeah, the caution, caution thing. Uh, yeah. But I mean, it's a lot going on, so I can I would have missed that shit too, I'm sure. Can I just shoot the tornado? Or do I need to shoot the big shit? There. <laughs> it's like every time I aimed, though, fucking look up at the damn boat flying around. Maybe he was trying to auto-target on the biggest target. See, dumbest thing he's done in the fucking game. 
And <laughs> drop the flare gun. Drop the flare gun. What are you smoking? He's going to use the uh, toggle switch. Gotcha. The clicker? Yeah. Yeah. No, I gotcha. He dives in the lake. Turn the lights on. I don't know. Turn them on. You're Does he have Alexa? Is he, is he <laughs> talking to his Alexa? Turn the lights on. Oh my god, I was watching Leon Lush the other day with him and his wife, you know, Lush Life and You ever watch that? Are you afraid? You're not Alice. With you. Turn the lights on now. They fucking have Where's an Alexa, what right? Did you do with it? And Alan? I don't know how they didn't know this beforehand. But they were watching TikTok videos that made Leon laugh to show his wife. And one of them was like twelve Alexas that were all strung together. Oh, and they were talking. And no, somebody said, Alexa, fart. Oh. And all of them were, you know, doing different farts and shit like that. It made them lose their fucking shit. Yeah. They were laughing so much. And then he was like, you can't actually ask Alexa to do that. So then they yeah. have one. So he asked and it did it. They were laughing. They had to stop filming. They were laughing so hard. And I'm like, y'all are so infantile. It's just I've a seen fucking that fart. one where it was like, my Alexa's broken. She won't stop farting. Yeah, I broke my Alexa. That was a cheap She won't stop one. fucking farting. Try asking me for an engine rumbler fart. I don't want you to Same fart. Random. No. Try a- I don't want it. <sighs> You're a bitch. Y'all are adults now. Come on. That y'all are laughing this much for damn farts. It's just the uh, fact that it's a machine. Well, doing it. But like, it, it, it does what you ask it to, so... It's just like know. the whole thing where if you, uh... You know, you tell, hey Siri, change my name to... Yeah. Whatever, and then it... Oh, it's H-E-H-E-H-E-H-E, and yeah. then it... Uh, yeah, but it is just <laughs> technology that responds to you. Tell me a sonnet. Tell me a joke. You know, read me a story. You know... Yeah, to do what you ask it to. So. And does it just all start again? It's hard to say, really. Did they make an Alan Wake 2? They're making an Alan Wake 2. Oh, okay. They made an Alan Wake's American Nightmare, and then he had a DLC in control. It was a little Alan Wake thing that was really cool. Why is everybody canceling Justin Roiland? What happened? Uh, he got like, I think he got arrested on uh, domestic abuse charges. Oh, damn. So now it's her turn to go and get Alan free. I don't know. We probably won't find out until Alan Wake 2. Well, what was the DLC in Control? It was just like uh, they were explaining that this whole thing that happened here in Bright Falls was one of those um, instances. Oh, okay. And uh, you fight the... um, So the darkness and the hiss. So the darkness... um, possessed uh, that doctor you know we were at his little rehabilitation center Mm -hmm. the darkness possessed him and then the hiss also possessed him and it like transformed him into some uh, malformed creature and you fight him And he is a hard son of a bitch of a boss fight. That motherfucker sucks because he also he heals during the fight, and you can only damage him in the light. It's Torg and Odin, or Tor. 
it literally looked like he was about to stab him with that. I thought it was a goddamn shank or something. It was a drumstick. I'll be all right. Who's that in the background? That's the waitress, isn't it? No, that one. Oh. I didn't even see that one. That was uh, Strickland. Or not Propane? Strickland. Oh. Um, <laughs> Nightingale. The FBI agent. And then that's the cliffhanger it leaves on. Well. Telling you it wasn't a lake, it was an ocean. <laughs> you thought Tor and Odin, the one of them was going to stab the other when they went to the No, I know who they are, and I know they wouldn't do that, but that <laughs> animation of him bringing that back as he was about to spin around, yeah. I didn't realize, okay, for one, he's just holding a drumstick, but... It just looked like he was about to, I'm coming to stab you kind of movement. I get it. But I know it wasn't because I know who they are, so. Well, that was Alan Wake. Well, there you go. What did you Is Alan about? Wake remastered? Yes. That's important. It's got the remastered down there. I mean, I've, 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 watched, I've watched people play Alan Wake before, so. Yeah. I never played it. I don't, I don't, it's not a game I would like. Uh, it's too, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? I have no idea. Surreal or mm. meta or whatever the, uh, not, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say something. <sighs> it's just too, I guess, out there, I guess. Oh, why did I not? Hello? Why did I not unlock Nightmare? What in the fucking hell? You want me to want me to find out? I guess so. Yeah, I mean, did you finish the game? Yeah. I got both achievements for finishing the game. Uh, to unlock it, you must finish the game on either normal or easy. Currently having the same issue. You got the achievement for beating it on normal and everything. Replayed the last level two. Still locked. Hit continue, replayed the last five seconds, and let the credits play out this time. Really? A sudden stop written by Alan Wake and departure. Written by Alan Wake. Alan Wake's journey through the night will continue. I think that's the new thing. It's because that wasn't in the original game. There 30, we go. 34, there you go. Yay, you can breathe a sigh of relief, Cody. <laughs> Alright, well, you that was... Not, you cannot be bad at the game right now. You're yeah. happy. That was Alan Wade. Oh. oh, we're still recording. Oh, fuck, yeah. no. Oh. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and check back next time for whatever I do. Bye-bye. <laughs>